Hello everyone, my name is Jim Theriot. I'm a technical marketing engineer with AWS Elemental, and today I'm going to talk to you about getting started with the Open Source Media Services Application Mapper, or MSAM for short. MSAM is an open source visualization and monitoring tool. It can be used to monitor your video workflows and other resources in the AWS cloud. MSAM is used to both monitor and to understand complex workflows and to prevent any sort of outage and other sort of problems happening during your video streaming events. Let's go into the demo and let me show you how to get started. When you first install MSAM, you'll have a very different view. You'll have almost nothing on the page. My MSAM, I've already pre-configured with a few tiles and diagrams. Let's go through those quickly and then we'll create a diagram and, and a tile and show you how to get started with monitoring. So the two main forms of visualization in MSAM are the tile and the diagram. Let's take a look at a few diagrams first. This diagram is for uh, live streaming video. Also happens to be showing Big Buck Bunny. Uh, this is a workflow that's using Media Live, Media Package, CloudFront, and the Speak DRM server. Here's another similar workflow. This one also includes Media Package and CloudFront, but we also have on-premise Media Elemental Live encoders. At the end of the workflow, we also have a, a documentation element that we call Display Devices. The live encoder and the display devices uh, can be added by hand uh, just for documentation. Everything else on this diagram is discovered automatically uh, by the Media Services Application Mapper. Let's take a look at another diagram. These are all of the media package resources that are currently running in this account. As you can see, uh, MSAM discovers all of the connections. You can also see that we have one of the elements on the diagram is in an alarm state. When an element goes into an alarm state, the element will turn red. You'll also see an alarm count at the bottom to understand how many alarms are triggered for this element. You'll also see on the tabs across the tool, the tab icon changes to a warning sign, both here and on the tiles. The tiles also have uh, uh, a couple of tiles that are in alarm state. The tiles themselves uh, are similar to the diagrams in, in that they uh, encapsulate a number of cloud resources. But what's different about tiles is they aggregate everything together into a single visual element. In the tile view that I'm showing here, we've got three tiles at the top that are in alarm state. We see the number of cloud resources that are in, uh, included in each tile, and we also see the number of alarms that are currently triggered with this. When we want to create our own diagrams and tiles, it's very easy with MSAM. Let's work our way back over to the diagram views, and let's create a new diagram. I'm going to create a diagram for my hockey resources that are currently streaming. So I create a diagram. And then I can go into the Manage Diagram Contents and add elements to my diagram. On the left side, we see all of the inventory that MSAM has discovered in my AWS account. And on the right side, we see the current contents in this diagram that I recently created. So what I'm going to do is select my Media Live channel on the left side and add that into the diagram contents. When I do that, that element appears on the diagram but by itself isn't very useful to me. So I'm going to select this element and tell AMSAM to add all the connected nodes. What this will do is it will add all of the other elements that are involved and connected to this one Media Live channel. So it's expanded all the elements, it's added all the connections, and now I can use AMSAM to lay out the diagram. In this case, I'm going to choose a left to right layout. That looks pretty good. This can still be quite a bit. Uh, to, uh, to use for monitoring. So I want to actually create a tile out of this as well. So I'll move over to the tiles view. And since I just created this diagram, I can take the tab, drag it onto the tile background, and create a new tile from this. 
Now my tile and the diagram have the same contents. Now all I need to do is add some CloudWatch alarms to monitor the resources that are both uh, shown in the tile and the diagram. Let's go back over to the diagram. Select the Media Live channel and let's add an alarm to it. Let's take a look. Look at my alarms. You can add any alarm from any region to any element on the diagram. So this doesn't necessarily have to be a Media Live alarm. It doesn't have to be in the same region as the Media Live channel is created and running in. So I'm going to take a, this alarm and I'm going to subscribe it to my element. Now when I click on this and look at the monitor, I see two alarms. One I've subscribed to earlier and this one that I just subscribed the element to. If either of those alarms are triggered, this element will turn red and the tile tab icon will also change. Likewise, elements are shared between tabs and diagrams. So since I've already subscribed that element to an alarm, the same is true for my hockey tab, for my hockey tile. If that alarm triggers, the hockey tile will turn red and will be pushed to the top left uh, corner uh, of the tile view. At any time, you can look down into the selected item views. You can look at status of elements in your diagrams. And we can also see that just now, an alarm was triggered on the Media Live channel, and the element has turned red, the tile icon has changed, and if we look over in the tiles, we also see that this tile has turned red as well. So our monitoring is working. Finally, MSAM tries to make it very easy to navigate around the tool, both in the tiles and the diagrams. So if I want to search for something, I can do that at the top right corner. MSAM will search everything in the tool. It'll search, search the inventory, diagrams, contents, and tiles. In this case, it's found that element that I'm searching for on a diagram. I can navigate directly to that diagram and then start to inspect and understand what the problem is that, I, that is currently occurring. OK, that is the demo. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from this. MSAM is available both on AWS Answers and on GitHub. Uh, you can find the links to both of these sites in the resources section on the player page. I hope you enjoy using MSAM, and please send us feedback on your experiences and let us know how it works for you. Thank you.